How's it going, everybody? Back from Florida and doing an NFL preview. Come join an NFL preview of the playoffs here. And I'll briefly throw some things out about the last week of football that happened yesterday. I am working tomorrow, so I'll have to try to film something tomorrow night when I get home. Because um, we got home pretty early today and uh, slept for a little bit and whatnot. But the cat was super excited to see us meowing, crying. Playoffs were set yesterday. The uh, Jags lost to the uh, the Titans to complete their collapse. I think they were eight and three, and they ended up nine and eight. So they lost the division. They were they ended up. Uh, the Steelers were the last team. They were seven seed. The Steelers they were the last team to make it. Um. So big collapse for the Jaguars. A lot of teams kind of shit the bed you'll still make the playoffs but you know the Dolphins are another one they're playing the Chiefs <clears throat> two games slated for the Saturday the 13th are Browns and Texans so you got the young rookie and Stroud going up against the veteran who's been bouncing all over the place Flacco who's done well as a Browns starter that could be an interesting game I think that is going to be an interesting game if I had a guess I would say I hate like predicting games because I don't. I'll, I'll give I'll give my own guesses. That'll probably be wrong. <laughs> I would say the Brown the Browns are actually two and a half point favorites as well. Apparently, I would say the Browns take it just because of Flacco. They actually had a better record than them too, and they they rested all their starters yesterday. Texans had a win yesterday. They won't end up winning the division because Jacksonville lost. I forget who they beat. The Colts, maybe? Yeah, because the Colts missed the playoffs, too. Guy dropped the running back, dropped the, you know, it was, it was fourth down pass. He dropped, it was like fourth and one at the end of the game. I feel kind of, you feel kind of bad for some, these people sometimes because the guy's like, oh, I'm going to talk to my parents. The only people who probably aren't pissed at me. Well, hey, bud, I'm not pissed at you either, so. I used to flip out over that stuff. I got, or, you know, it was a kind of a combination. The, the throw wasn't great for that. He's a running back. He had a kind of twist. At the end of the day, yeah, should he have caught it? Yes. But you know how many drops happen a game at the end of a game in crucial situations? It happens all the time. Um, anyway, I'd say the Browns win a tight game there. But that's great for Stroud to get that experience. You know, if they win that game as well to get even more. I don't think anyone of the Texans picked to make the playoffs. They ended up 10-7. and seven. But Flacco's play, it, it's crazy because he was on Denver briefly and this had to have been like three or four years ago. Um, he bounced around after, he was on the Jets briefly as well. But he got some kind of spark here with Cleveland. I mean, they have a solid team anyway. But you know, he filled in for Watson. I think he had somebody else playing briefly too. Because I don't know, Flacco didn't start against Denver when Cleveland played Denver. I'm pretty sure Watson was not playing. I'm gonna say Browns were a close one there, like 24 to 21 type game. Then the second game, here's another collapse. The Dolphins, I gotta go to the Chiefs now. Dolphins for a lot of the year look like they could be the one seed in, in the AFC. Or at least the two. But the Bills beat them in Miami. Now they were banged up. The Dolphins lost players the week before because they left players in way too late to blow out as the game got out of hand in the fourth. They got to play the Chiefs now, and they got to play the Chiefs at, in Arrowhead, where what uh, Mahomes has one playoff loss there, right to the Patriots in the championship game, like his first playoff run. Has lost there since, so that's going to be if the Dolphins go from like we could be the two seed with the division to now we got to go on the road. I thought the division was theirs too. I should see how they fell apart. Let's see real quick. Because I want to say the Bills were like six and five, right? At one point, 
maybe even seven and six. Chiefs are three and a half point favorites. I think the Chiefs honestly win that game. Although that's going to be a tough game because this isn't the same Chiefs team. But you still got Mahomes and you get the home game. what if the Chiefs win this game it's what they do after that's going to really show you what that team's made of because they've, they're going to have to go on the road at least twice um, yeah, it's funny I'm like looking at the Dolphins schedule it's like that 70-20 drubbing of Denver it's like a historical blowout it's like a thing of the past They were 9-3. and three. And then they lost that tight one to the Titans. And then they were 11-4 and four and they lose. They, they lose their last two to go. So they never actually really sucked. But they did lose three of their last five. The Tennessee loss was really the one. Obviously that. They should have. We'll see what Tua and them can do on the road. I'm going to say the Chiefs take that one. And another tight game because I don't think... Did they play each other, right? Let me take a look at this real quick. Right, the Dolphins? Did the Dolphins and Chiefs play each other this year? I, I'm no analyst. I don't know what I'm doing. They lost 21-14. to 14. That was at home. Why is there an asterisk next to that? Oh, it was played at a neutral location. Why was that game played at a neutral location? Was there like a hurricane or a flood thing? Apparently they were the home team, though. Whatever. They did lose to them in a tight game. I think it's going to be another tight one, but I think the Chiefs take it kind of around that same score. 21-17, maybe 24-17. Once again, though, I don't know shit, so... The, the Dolphins could destroy him. The, the Texans could dominate the, the Browns. Dolphins were four and four on the road. Chiefs, Chiefs were five and four at home, so it, it's not the standard home Chiefs team that dominates, you know. <clears throat> but I just think they'll do it with the history. <clears throat> you know, Mahomes has stuff. So. You got three Sunday other one seeds are the are the Niners and the uh, Ravens are the two ones. So they got the they're the only ones who get the buy now because they had that seven team, which I think is smart. Actually, I think that was a good thing because you get another team in there. <clears throat> and even in the, uh, in the NFC, I think the Saints were 9-8. and eight. Somebody else was 9-8. and eight. Um, The Seahawks, I think, were 9-8. They both missed because Green Bay had a better... Green Bay was the 7, I believe, and they had the better divisional record. But the Steelers getting a 10-7. and seven. Like I said, they got to play the Steelers. Uh, the, the Bills, sorry. Bills are a 10-point favorite in this game. I think that's going to be a pretty close game, actually. The Bills somehow end up with the wild card. Let's see. Were they actually 7-5? and five? A 6-5 and five at some point. Denver beat the Bills, for fuck's sake. <laughs> that was a weird game, though. Steelers get in at 10-7. and seven. You still got that Tomlin effect. <clears throat> I don't think they're going to win the Super Bowl or something, but... Hey, it is football. They did beat Baltimore both times, but this they played them yesterday, and, and Baltimore was resting their guys, but they did beat them straight up earlier in the season. They were 6-6, six and six, so they ran. They lose an overtime game to Philly, and then they ran five in a row to win the division. That's... See, this could be the Bills, not year, maybe the year to get the Super Bowl, but all of a sudden, like, everybody's like, the Bills kind of suck, blah, 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 but they really don't. Steelers were in regardless, I think. Uh, I mean, did they have to win the Steelers? Yeah, maybe they did have to win to get in. I don't know. Steelers ended up 10 and 7, Bills were 11 and 6, so I do think the Bills take that game. Like, twenty-three to thirteen. <laughs> I saw some Steelers fans not. You're pumped to get in the playoffs because anything can happen, right? 
the Steelers are stuck in that place where they're never bad enough because they're so well coached. And they do have decent players, but they're never bad enough to get a great pick. <laughs> like, even if they miss the playoffs, they end up with that, you know, high teens to, you know, 20 pick or something. Well, 14 teams make the playoffs now, so there's 32 teams in the league, right? So it'll be 18. So they have, they would have like 16, 17th pick, you know, which isn't bad, but. But anything can happen. I think the Bills win, but like I said with the other games, anything can happen. Next game, we got the Packers and the Cowboys. Packers are going to Dallas. Dallas ended up with the two seed because another team that shit the bed was the Eagles. They are another team that I'll get to them. They got. I was like, are they resting their guys? I did the Giants like destroy them yesterday? Let me see. Oh, Denver ended up under five hundred. You know, Stittman was in there and. Did jack shit because their line sucks. They lose the, the Raiders. They lost the Raiders like eight, eight times in a row, which is crazy. I remember back in the 90s, they couldn't beat the Raiders. And then Shanahan became the coach and they started to beat the Raiders like all the time. And then after Peyton Manning retired, like everything turned in that division. <laughs> I went to the wrong week. I was like, Denver did not beat the Chargers last week. Um. Yeah, they wanted, the Giants beat the Eagles 27-10, and I think the Eagles ended up taking their starters out of the because Hurts played. I think a couple guys got hurt, too. Maybe they're one of the receivers, A.J. Brown or something. I don't know. Anyway, though, Packers are going to Dallas. Dallas, I think, was perfect at home, right? <clears throat> but, you know, kudos. Jordan Love's first year starting. They made the playoffs. They had a solid year. Cowboys are seven-point favorites. Yes, they were 8-0 at home, so that's going to be a um, of course, you can sit here and be like, well, it's the Cowboys, so they will lose that game. If the Cowboys lose this game to the Packers, if I was a fan of the Cowboys, I don't look back, you know what, I'm done. I really would be like, they got the division now. <clears throat> they got the two, so they will get it. If they win this game, they will get another home game. And they could end up, depending on what happens with San Francisco, they could end up being the overall. You know, hosting all the playoff games. I do think they win that game. I think they win that game kind of handily. Honestly, I'm gonna say they Dallas wins that game like thirty to seventeen. And once again, you never know. But Dallas has been exceptional at home. So if they were like four and four at home, they probably they wouldn't have won the division. But while well, they were eight no at home, so that means they were. They played nine road games. I guess that's how they alternated now. Like one year you play nine home games and you play nine road games or something. Um, they were four and five on the road. So they're not a good road team. The Cowboys are under 500. Not terrible, but they're not. They're great at home. I think they take it. That game fairly easy. But you never know once again. Because the Packers aren't a bad team, but Dallas is 8-0 at home. They're the best home team in the league, I would think. Did any other teams go 8-0 at home? I don't know. And the final game for Sunday, wild card, is Rams versus Lions. So Stafford is going back to play the Lions in Detroit. I think that's going to be a good game. I do think Detroit takes it. See, Detroit ended up being 3. So they're only going to get one playoff game, one playoff game, unless other teams lose. I think that's going to be Maybe actually no, they're they're more fire scoring offenses, right? Maybe like a 31-30 game. I could see the Rams taking it though, because it's the Lions and they have to still get bad. You know, they get to the playoffs, but they still have to push forward, and it's very hard for franchises that have struggled. You know, you're seeing it in Denver. They've missed the playoffs eight straight years. Now it's different with Denver because they got multiple Super Bowls and they've been to like eight. But it's hard to get rid of the sting. Now Detroit kind of got rid of that other stink. They're getting better. They were even, they had a 500, oh, they were 9-8 last year, I believe, as well. But then you got to get that playoff victory and push from there. So people are still like, oh, it's the Lions. They lost their playoff game. Similarly, the Cowboys, except the Cowboys obviously have five Super Bowls in their history. They just haven't done much of note since the mid-90s. Um, I'm going to say the Lions win that one. I'm almost kind of rooting for the Lions in the playoffs just because I like seeing teams that haven't, you know, gotten it 
it's idle or just haven't had a lot of success do well. Of course, if they lose, I'm not going to give a shit, but <laughs> I think that's going to be a tight one. I think that's a good story, too. Stafford going back. I wonder if he's going to get booed or not. I mean, he was traded, right? I think that's going to be a decent game, though. That might be the game of the weekend. Um, and the final game, the Eagles, who fell apart against the Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield and the Bucks won that division at 9-8. and eight. So that division actually ended up not terrible. I think the Saints were 9-8 and eight, and the Bucks were 9-8. and eight. So they had two teams over 500. Are the Eagles, Eagles favorites in that game? I don't know. I have to see. Yeah, I think the Eagles are three-point favorites. I don't know, man. The Eagles are like, shit. Like, what happened to them? Were they just frauds or what? I don't know. Like I said, I don't follow the Eagles, so I don't know if they were they were getting lucky or whatever, and then all of a sudden, because they were like seven and zero oh or six and zero oh or something, right? Let's see their schedule. Oh, they're only five and zero. Oh. They were eight. And, they were they were ten and one. Wow. So they went one and five. Woof. I mean, they lost to the Giants badly. They lost to Arizona. That lost them the division. San Francisco blew them up in Philly. They went to Dallas and got smacked. But they think they smacked Dallas and no, they didn't smack them. They only won by five. They lose a tight one to Seattle. And then they beat the Chicago. Oh, wow, they are not. Oof. I don't know. I don't know. That's an interesting game to pick because I don't know. Baker Mayfield has a solid year. Good for him, you know. I'm sure Skip Bayless is like, oh. Um, they are favorites. I can... I can't believe they were 10-1 and one and they went 1-5. and five. Oof. They still got in the playoffs, but they lost the division. But, I mean, Dallas was always right there, pretty much, in that division. But that's a serious slip-up. Because even if they just had gone 2-4, and four, they would have won the division. No, way. They would have had to have been better than 2-4. and four. Or maybe not. But they, have won the they would have won the tiebreaker, right? So 2-4, and four, or just 500 over those six games gets them the division. I'm going to say the Eagles take that one, though. 27 to 24. I don't know why all these games are pretty close, except that one. <laughs> Let's see how wrong I am on all of them, though. That's the best part, right? Because I'll be saying, like, some of you guys might be a fan of a team. Like, oh, fuck you, what are you talking about? They're going to lose. And then I'm wrong on everyone. And I look like an idiot. So I picked the Browns, the Chiefs, the Bills, the Cowboys, the Lions, and the Eagles. So two road teams. Let's see how wrong I am. It's more fun to be wrong anyway. <clears throat> the only game I think is going to be a blowout personally is that Cowboys-Packers game. It's just because the Cowboys are so good at home. But the Cowboys could do Cowboy things in the playoffs and it ends up close. And all of a sudden, the Cowboys are up by like one. And the, pa the Packers are driving, you know, at the end of the game. And the Cowboy fans are like, are you kidding me? Here we go, you know. But yeah, kind of a, not an un, it was like an uninventful but eventful last weekend because a lot of teams were resting starters. But the Colts could have gotten in. They ended up nine. The Colts still had a decent year, nine and eight. Honestly, Denver went eight and nine. I would have loved to have seen them go nine and eight. They did improve three games. I would think Russell Wilson's gone because Sean Payton's kind of an idiot, and it's not his guy. So Sean Payton strikes me as that guy who would throw everybody under the bus before blaming himself for anything. But he got him three additional wins, and they lost to the command. They lost to the Jets. They lost to the Patriots and the Raiders all in Denver. Win two of those games and you're in playoffs. Come on. Washington ended up with like four wins. The Jets might have seven, so, and they have a tough day. The Patriots game was unacceptable. That pretty much knocked them out of the playoffs. Although they probably would have still lost to the Raiders anyway. They had to win out and get to 10 and 7, I think, and they would have probably gotten in, but I think they would have lost to the Raiders anyway. And even if that did the Patriot game, they could have just finished 500. Just beat the Patriots at home. They used to beat the Patriots when Brady was the quarterback. I think Denver's the only team that has a 500 or better record against Brady. If you count the playoff games, Denver has a winning record against Brady. They're like the only team that does. I remember back in the day, they used to always beat Brady. When Plummer was the QB. Uh, I don't know if Cutler got any wins. They won a few, obviously, in the playoffs games with the big wins with Peyton, but they did lose.
some regular season games with him. Brock Osweiler beat him once. They beat him with Kyle Orton. Like they were beat, they beat them a lot, and then it turned. When Shanahan was the coach, they had a better record against him. Then um, they were three and one against him in the playoffs. <clears throat> Damn it, because Denver sucks. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't that broken up about it. I would have liked to see him finish 500, but it's like Denver was going to get in the playoffs and go on some kind of fucking run. It would just be good for the franchise, but who the hell knows? They need offensive linemen desperately. But anyway, that's a preview of the NFL playoffs. If your teams are in there, good luck to them. See what happens, right? Anything could happen. Me saying the team will win doesn't mean jack shit, because just like anybody else, anything could happen. And usually does in football. Thanks for checking this out, and have a good day.